Do you guys know what time it is? <laughs> well then, if you look at the time, it's time to duel. It's time to insert speech impediment. <laughs> it's time to du -du 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 duel. I play it with your mom at Pasadena. We had fun. She won. 2-0. I play Draco Slayer. My dog picked Draco Slayer. Oh, you play, you pick Draco Slayer. You pick Draco Slayer. You the reason why I dropped you piece of shit. Yes, you are. Now, I didn't lose because I picked Draco Slayer. I lost because I ain't know how to play Draco Slayer. <laughs> Not to a YCS level. To clap June and GJ up, easy. June and TJ, no problem. But to like actually play out a YCS, Nah, dog, wasn't happening. Topic for today, ladies and gentlemen. The topic gonna be the most interesting Yu-Gi-Oh! top decks that no one is playing. I know, we are in a 2-0 format. But, 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 that doesn't mean that these decks aren't really good decks that you can play to success depending on the event. Did I put the list on Patreon? My guy, I will put all of the list of all of the decks that we are talking about on Patreon. So if you guys join my Patreon, I appreciate it. It is a special thanks for helping me pay my editors. We talked about how Draco Slayer was the deck that I picked at YCS. And I genuinely believe that Draco Slayer is a top interesting deck. One, no one knows what they do. And that like just gives you a slight edge. Dog, you know how many times people picked up my Draco Slayer cards and was like, yo, it's more than Luster Pin? And do you guys know that the extra deck monsters are not once per turn? Bro, Ignister Dynamite. Is that his name? It's Ignister Dynoster and Majester. Yo, all of those effects are not once per turn. You put it in the graveyard to bring it back or summon a new one, you're getting new effects. I clapped up so many players because of that. But the genuine reason why I think it's a top interesting deck is because it can search Mystic Mai. <laughs> you know, last format we were like, ban Mystic Mai, ban Mystic Mai. Now we're like, yo, Mystic Mai. It's, uh, it's, it's definitely acceptable to play it now, right? Tier zero, my friends, tier zero, tier zero. We gotta, we gotta do whatever we gotta do to win. But no, seriously, it can search Mystic Mine. It can search Secret Village of the Spellcasters. It can search Necro Valley. And Necro Valley is easily like one of the most toxic Yu-Gi-Oh cards for tier limit. Mystic Mine is like a toxic relationship. Yes, and we are gonna keep running back until we get out of this tier zero format, every time. Oh, well. Here's Callie's toxic arc again. I'm not toxic, you pizza f Now go play in f traffic until you stop being a damn oxygen thief. You guys are right. Kelly taught us how to be toxic. I didn't teach you shit. I didn't teach you anything. But if you start going around and calling people oxygen thieves, I want full credit. Thoughts on Flu? Flu is a top deck, my guy. Have you seen our tier list? Flu is an S tier deck, unfortunately. Is Drytron dead even with Ben 10 and 3? Dog, you're gonna need Ben 11 to revive that deck. Have you heard of Ben Steals, my friend? Exo Sister, my guy, what do you mean? What is Exo Sister? That means we're related. Now, if you're talking about Exo Step Sister, that means we're not really related. Exo Step Sister. I got something for you. Just uh, just open the box. Open the box, Exo Stepsister. It's uh, it's, you know, some new shoes, new, new Yu-Gi-Oh cards, right? Is the Exo Stepsister stuck in the appliance or laundry dragon? <laughs> oh the shit! Oh! <laughs> Cali eggs video stop! Yo, stop giving them my link. Send it to my Patreon first. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Like, seriously, guys, I might just play Exo Sister this format. It's looking better and better every format we come around, and the more tier zero it feels, the better it is. As you already know, the Exo Sister monsters uh, gain effects when your opponent touches the graveyard more than R. Kelly gets touched in prison, which uh, apparently is a lot right now. And seeing that a Shizu tier limit does a lot of graveyard movement, Every single one of your Exo Sisters becomes an Exe monster. Like, yo, they all get stuck in the dryer, right? Also, if you guys are ever following the hint, it can play Necro Valley. 
Me and Necro Valley, we got a friendship right now in this format. How would I hit a Shizu tier? Well, with this fist first, and then with this fist next. Actually, I I, I definitely do this for a Shizu tier. A, a Shizu. I'm gonna stop. Slide into my DMs for a Gravekeeper's deck list. Oh. <laughs> I wanted a Shizu deck list, dog. <laughs> the Cali Effect XX. <laughs> my guy, don't put some respect on my name and add another X. Please. I mean, if you guys haven't caught the hit, your your deck needs to be like non-graveyard reliant. It needs to be able to have some graveyard flexibility. And on top of that, you might have to play some toxic cards to be able to keep up. Are you guys, are you guys adept to what we're talking about? Are there any other decks on your mind? Fish XE, just go first, make Dweller easy. So when do we tell them about um Forbidden Droplet and Herald of Orange Light? It's not that simple. It is never that simple with that damn deck. I wish but it's not. Fucking Gravity Bond, yo! <laughs> bro, bro, he's gonna go Gravity Bond, a Legendary Ocean, and Tornado Wall. You're not beating his lock. Bugroth FTK, guys. Watch him, watch him. Play Crystal Beast with Necro Valley. You know what? Bro, I, I like, Crystal Beast has like an arc in my entire channel. I remember saying that the deck was dog water. Now, like, it, it, it's looking better and better every single time we talk about it. It can play Necro Valley, it can play Dimensional Shifter, and Crystal Beast by themselves are not bad. It can actually OTK, and it plays Rainbow Dragon. If you're LGBTQIA, you love this deck. Nothing feels strong enough. <laughs> Triple Eight says Scareclaw. Yeah! Look, hear me out, guys. What it feels like is that we're going to a new era of Yu-Gi-Oh again. We might make a video on that later. That means that any deck that was introduced in Power of the Elements going forward, <laughs> Scareclaw is one of them. It's non-graveyard reliant. It's compliant with decks like Tribergate, but more importantly, it has a killer Link monster. Do you guys even know what uh, Scareclaw Triheart does? Scareclaw try her, gonna take over Master Duel. It's gonna be ridiculous. And in the TCG, it's good. Baguska. Try hard as mini Baguska. It's basically Baguska. It's almost Baguska. My friends, you poor simple monkeys. That's right. I'm Frieza now. You guys are monkeys. Scareclaw try hard is better than Baguska. Piercing, attacking multiple times. Piercing, attacking multiple times? How many times have you seen a Baguska do that? Scareclaw Triheart is a one-hitter quitter. Oh, and it can summon from the graveyard. You know what, like, it, it can do that. It can summon monsters from the graveyard. That, that's pretty good. Yeah, Baguska just stalls. Scareclaw Triheart, <laughs> it is a Triheart Yu-Gi-Oh card. So if Equimax was Baguska, bro, it really is. It's like Crusadia Equimax meets Baguska. Now you guys are gonna be hot, excited over this next card that I'm gonna talk to you. Boy, I'm telling you, this deck is better than what people think right now. Y'all got money? Hmm? Chat, did you come with the money? Well, if you got money, use it to get to the next tier. Ah, uh, get it? No one, no one gets it. I did all that and no one got it. Cash Tira is a really good deck. Bro, this is not Hopium. It's not Hopium. It, it's slight Hopium. So a lot of people know about Cash Tira Fenrir, but what a lot of people don't know about is its big brother. This card's actually ridiculous. Its name is Cash Tira Unicorn. Now Cash Tira Unicorn can special summon itself just like Fenrir when you control no monsters. And instead of getting a Cash Tira monster, it actually can get a spell or trap. But this is actually which makes Cash Tira Unicorn a little bit different and slightly better in certain situations. When this card declares an attack or when your opponent activates a card effect or monster effect, just like Fenrir, you can look at your opponent's extra deck and banish a card. Yo! It's a reason why monsters like True King Lethosagum is limited to one and was once banned. Bro, like literally, you get to look at your opponent's extra deck 
in Banish a card? In the spell card, you can search can summon it from the graveyard on top of other cash Tira cards? Bro, cash Tira unicorn is ridiculously good. Cash Tira cards are just Konami's interns custom cards. Yo, bro, bro, you're not wrong. Also, when players are playing that one of extra deck card, I'm not gonna say any names, but um, I'm looking at you tier limit players. Being able to banish that one important card feels like Ghost Reaper and Winter Cherries. And you guys know how hyped that card is right now. 